friend of mine, Dave Orton, game designer at Playground Games. Hello, Dave. Happy second anniversary, Dave. Woo! Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Super excited to talk about everything we're adding in Series 27. And yeah, two years. How, who would have thought it? It's, yeah, super I know. excited. Our baby's all grown up, Dave. We're going to have to say <laughs> oh, no. goodbye to It's going to have to go off to university. <laughs> oh, that's it. Now, first of all, I have to say Mike Brown was planning on joining us today, but he's unfortunately ill. So we will need an F in chat for Mike. But instead, we do have the wonderful Dave joining us, and we are very happy to have you. So should we kick things off by talking about Series 27 in Forts Horizon 4? Yeah, let's start with Festival Playlist then. So uh, yeah. I think the slides are coming up. Fantastic. So uh, kicking off with our series completion, at 50%, you're going to get the 2018 Megan RS, and at 80%, the 2018 ATS GT. Now for summer, at 50%, you're going to get the RIMAC Concept 2, and at 80%, the awesome Apollo Intetsa Emotione. Uh, we have our first photo challenge, and that is hashtag friends in high places. Uh, we have to take a photo of your car with another player or driver tar at the Glen Rannick mast. Now, this is the signal mast that is right at the top, uh, sort of the top left of the maps. Um, you can see for miles, so we're really excited to see what kind of photos you take for that. Um, moving on, we have a, a showcase remix that's coming back, Motocross Purposes, that has the Nomad versus the motocross bikes and uh, lots of cool seasonal PR chants as well. But more importantly, our new exclusive car, which is another Formula Drift car. It's the 64 Nissan 370Z. Now, this is Chris Forsberg's car, and he's going to be talking about that later in the stream, so don't go anywhere to find out from the man himself. Moving on to autumn, we have another Formula Drift car at 50%. This is the 777 Corvette Formula Drift, and at 80%, the Toyota 2000 GT. For a photo challenge, we've got hashtag House of Rod, where you have to take a photo of any Rods and Customs car with the Broadway Church in Broadway. A um, little hip tint, uh, tip here, we have a danger sign that allows you to jump over that as well. So I'd be Ooh, super wow, excited to see tip. anyone anyone take a photo of their car <laughs> upside down over the church. There you go. You've got yeah, a, that's you've got my favorite. There. Let's go. <laughs> Tag me in that, please. I need to see him. <laughs> exactly. Uh, for the trial, uh, Forza in the, in the Forest, you've got a chance of getting the Celica, uh, the 1992 choice Celica, along with lots of other PR stunts there and super wheel spins. Um, and we have another new exclusive car. This is the Lexus RCF, and you can get that by doing the fully loaded season event. Moving on to winter, at 50%, you'll be getting the Lamborghini Huracan Formante, and at 80%, the Ferrari 250 GT. We just love to give you all the cool cars. And uh, at our photo challenge for winter, You've got hashtag drive like the wind. See, we're playing on the pun there. Um, take a photo of any hypercar at the Moorhead Wind Farm. Again, make sure you share these photo challenges online with the hashtag. We love seeing them. And uh, maybe they'll get a mention in the stream later down the line. Uh, we have another showcase remix as well. We're bringing one back. Morning Rush. This is uh, Aisha's Taxi's uh, the sort of soups up version versus the train, because that's what we love to do in Horizon by putting awesome engines into taxis and racing against trains. Because why wouldn't you? Uh, and then moving on, um, we've got a chance to win um, the uh, Chevy Impala and the Polar Protein season event, the Mercedes AMG E63, two really hard to find cars, and uh, also the Caddy Esc Escalade in the Grit and Determination season event. That's a really cool car. Um, so make sure you check out the Grit and Determination season event. Moving on to spring, uh, we have another brand new car. That is the Lexus ISF, and you'll be able to get that by completing 50% of spring. And at 80%, the Maserati 8CTF. For our photo challenge, we have hashtag Ford Crossing, where you've got to take a photo of any Ford at Derren Water. And moving on, uh, we've got some awesome cars to win here, including the Aston Martin Vanquish in the spring games. And last but not least, we have another new car. And this time it is the Toyota GT86. And you can get that by completing the Sports Day season event. And, and also there's a chance to win the Alfa uh, Romeo 8C Forza Edition in the Alfa Romeo and Juliet uh, season event. So, oh, yes, there we go. Oh. Lots of puns in the festival playlist. 
We've got four cars, a Toyota, two Lexus, and a Formula Drift car. So super exciting, yeah. Amazing. Now, I was going to do a fantastic segue into talking about the new cars, but you've just spelled them out. So let's just dive straight into them, shall we? <laughs> we don't need me messing around. Let's hit Awesome. So yeah, this is the Toyota GT86. Uh, really, really nice hot hatch. It's got a two liter four cylinder engine. Uh, great horsepower coming in around 197. Rear wheel drive, um, you know, awesome car. I suppose the main rival would be something like the Subaru BRZ. But the great thing about this car is it's begging to be modified. And that's kind of the whole premise of this car. You sort of buy it up and you go in and you tune it yourself to really um, tailor the performance to how you want to drive. Um, and obviously that's something we offer in Forza Horizon 4. So it's, it's really cool to see people can go in and really tune this car in real life, but then go and do it the same again in our, in our game. So take this to the garage, make it your own, get the tune, maybe share it, see what people think of that. And um, you can get this car by completing the Sports Day Championship in spring. Uh, just looking at the interior here, it's very, very cool. It sounds um, great. That's normally the sort of vibe check for me. Does it sound good? <laughs> yeah. So, sounds good, looks good. It's got, yeah, Done. It's, uh, Sold. Let's go. All the, all the tape watches. So we move on to the next <laughs> car then. Great. So this is the Lexus RCF. Uh, this is a 5-litre V8. Uh, 470 brake horsepower this time and around 389 pounds of torque. 0 to 60 in about four and a half seconds and a top speed of 170 miles per hour. So it's the most powerful V8 that Lexus has built um, and it's kind of paired with a specially calibrated eight speed sports direct shift transmission. Now the Lexus F marquee represents the sort of high performance division cars by Lexus and the F refers to sort of flagship. Um, and this is kind of built, uh, I suppose, as competition to cars like the BMW M3 or M4. Um, yeah, so uh, another, another cool thing about this car is it's actually got, in real life, there's a button to, to raise or lower the wing at the back. And I feel like if I was either driving or in the passenger seat, I would just be tapping that button all the time because it's so just cool. to irritate whoever um, was driving yeah just <laughs> irritating everyone and everyone around me it's probably not the best thing goes down goes up goes exactly down. <laughs> exactly so uh you can get this car by completing the fully loaded seasonal championship in autumn so make sure you check that out and uh kid it out in the garage put a cool livery on it see what you think of it uh let's move on to the next lexus then uh yeah so this is the 2009 lexus isf uh, another car in the F range, um, powered by a five-litre V8, and it's got a nice uh, sort of 432 brake horsepower, an eight-speed automatic. Um, not um, not sure if it's the first one, but going for an eight-speed auto was um, is common now. But when they put it in the car here, it wasn't so common. So um, it's cool to see that that is a trend that's continued. So yeah, um, eight-speed auto, which is great, and um, does top speed of around 168 miles per hour and not 16 about 4.3 seconds uh, it's got really cool nice sleek design i love the color i love the quad exhausts on it um so yeah again uh make sure you check this out by doing 50 percent of spring uh, festival playlist this season series there you go <laughs> series 27 that's the one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> series 27 that's, that's the one the yeah one. <laughs> Gorgeous. Well, they're all stunning, and I'm looking forward to have a go and trying to win them all. But a little birdie told me that you're also improving something else in the game, a little own drag strip, perhaps? Yes, so we've got a brand new feature coming in Series 27 called the Drag Run. Now, this is a new game mode that's built for people who just love non-stop drag racing. And um, previously, drag racing has been the most popular race event online in our in previous series. And um, we sort of looked at the way we were doing drag racing in Forza Horizon 4 and felt that actually you spend more time loading into the race than you do racing. So we wanted to really sort of um, hone in and fix that. So we've introduced a new feature called the drag run. I don't know if there's a, a video for this. Mm -hmm. um, so let's play that. Yeah, so really essentially... Good. It's drop-in and drop-in, drop-out drag racing. 
you go to any drag race activation point in the world, you select a new option called the drag run. And effectively what it does, is it puts you in a, a hopper with other people, gives you a PI restriction and just gets you on, on the way to do some drag racing. So the way it works is you do three drag races back to back. And the key thing about this is we don't throw you back into free roam each time. You do the drag race and then we reset you right back um, to the oh. do the drag race again. So you'll see in this video here, I think this is me versus um, Tommy Bargains and I absolutely <laughs> smoke him. But um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it's kind of giving you a demonstration of how the, the flow works. It's me and Tommy Bargains. Um, you do your drag race, and as I say, rather than throwing you back out to free roam where it takes you know a long time, um, we, we just put you straight back and you do the race again. So it's kind of like a, uh, it's meant to be a mode where you drop in and drop out, and um, and have so a lot of fun. There you go. I I was I was spamming the uh, the chat as well there because uh, you oh you got troll to do that. you're that person huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is me. I'm not gonna lie, I've got a bit of a reputation for that in the office. So. Apologies, everyone. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and, and the great thing about it is you do three races, and then once you've done those three, the game will give you a new PI restriction. So say it's S1 for the first three, it might be S2, it might be C plus. And so um, it's a really good way to test out how competitive your tunes are at each PI plus. So yeah, really excited to see um, people really get stuck in with this feature. Because not only you're now testing the, the tune to yourself, but you're testing it against other people as well. So. Um, we're really excited to see how, how this mode um, changes the way you, you do your tunes in drag racing. And obviously, all of the influence you earn in the drag run will go into the drag uh, racing thread. So there's lots and lots of rewards there. We've actually added some more rewards into the influence thread as well. So real cool incentive for you to get stuck in. So yeah, that is that is the, the, the drag that's run. Rad. I think I, I, again, beat Tom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah let's, let's, should we just let I've, this play out a second? Make sure Tommy really knows he got beat in this one too. Spamming, uh, sorry. There it is. Yeah, he even there had time go. to look at the camera and look back at him. So uh, <laughs> yeah, and obviously that. So yeah, that will be coming out at series twenty-seven. So get to a, a, a drag race and, and have some fun with the drag run. Amazing! That sounds phenomenal. And while they're waiting for that. Um, there's a couple of car As we said before in the stream, Chris Forsberg is actually on the stream. He'll be talking much more in detail uh, about this car, but you'll be able to get this car by completing the Nissan Cup Seasonal Championship in summer. And, and as you know, Formula Drift cars in Ports and Horizon are really, they're sort of perfect for, for getting your three stars in your drift zones for your seasonal uh, championship drift zones as well. So um, we really yeah, have fun with that. It, it, from the get-go, they are really fun to drive, and you can see by this road here. Um, it's just such a fun car to drive. I, looking at this now, I just want to drive it. Um, it's got loads of grip, loads of power, and it's just so perfect for drifting. I mean, there's nothing more I can say other than it's super cool, and uh, it's Chris Forsberg's car, and he'll be talking about it in more detail. Much better than I have just done then, but yeah. I was going to say, should we, should we have a chat with Chris? Because I think he's probably got a few things to say. I'd like yes. to thank Dave and Ali, of course, who's no longer on the thank screen you. anymore. But thanks so much for stepping in for Mike. Let's have a look at the real world version of this car first, though, shall we?